In this video, I will demonstrate how to do some simple descriptive analysis using the IEA's IDB Analyzer. First, looking at the percentage of grade 4 or year 5 students in England who like learning maths, then how average achievement varies by how much students like learning maths. Once you've opened up the Analyzer, you need to select which software you are using by selecting SPSS or SAS. The Analyzer creates syntax that will run in either SPSS or SAS. I will use SPSS, but the process of creating syntax files is exactly the same for SAS. Then you need to select the analysis module. Here you have five numbered windows. In the first, you need to select the data file you want to use. In this example, I will use the student background data file for grade four students. Click on select and find the file. I have downloaded all the TIMS data into a folder called TIMS 2019 Workshop and the grade 4 student data is all in the subfolder T19 underscore G4 underscore SPSS data. To find the student background data files, they all begin with the letters ASG followed by a country code. So for England, it's ENG. Then you have two options either B7 or M7. B7 is data from the Bridge Study. Check out the TIMS website for more details about the Bridge Study. M7 is the main TIMS file. Select this file and click on Open. From the drop-down menu, you need to select the study type. In this case, it's just TIMS. Select TIMS and click OK. Next, you need to select the analysis type from the drop down menu. This allows you to select the weighting variable to apply to the analysis. For more details on sampling and weights, see the IDA videos in the links below this video. Because I'm analysing student data, I select TIMS using student weights from the menu. Then you select percentages only from the statistics type menu. When you've done this, you will get the option to select the number of decimal places displayed in the analytical results and where the graphs are produced. I will leave the default options, two decimal places and yes to graphs. The country ID variable is automatically selected as a grouping variable on the right hand side of the main window. Note in this case, we have only selected one country so it's not nearly really necessary, but if you have most data from multiple countries, this will allow you to produce analysis by country. The weighting variable, TOTWGT, is also selected. In the left-hand window, you have a list of all the variables from the student background survey. If you know the name of the variable, you can type it in the box just below name. If you don't, but know what you are interested in, then you can type a keyword below description. So if you type like for like learning maths, you will see the questions that have like in their description. In the case of like learning maths, there are two options, a scale variable and an index variable. I will choose the index variable, ASD, GS, LM. Highlight it and click on the right arrow in the grouping variables window. This variable is now selected as a grouping variable. From here, things are exactly the same as when merging data. Click on the define button in the middle at the bottom of the screen, then select the syntax folder and type in a file name. Like underscore learning underscore maths. Note again that spaces are not allowed in the file name. Click on Save. Click on the Start SPSS button to launch SPSS. The syntax file will open. To run the code, press Control A to highlight the whole file. Then Control R or the green play button at the top to run the selected syntax. If 
you scroll up the statistics viewer to the table, you will see that for country code 926, which is England, the percentage of students who very much like learning maths is 43.52, whilst the percentage who do not like learning maths is 22.72. Returning to the analyzer, we now look at how maths attainment varies by how much students like learning maths. Click on the return to main menu button and again go click on analysis module. Select the same file again, ASG ENG M7. This should be already be listed as your selected file. This time for analysis type we again select TIMS using student weights. But for statistics type, we want percentages and means. So we're going to look at the percentage of students by how much they like learning maths and the mean achievement for each group of students. When you have done this, you will get the same options for number of decimals and whether you want to show graphs in your output file. You'll also see an option for plausible values. For analysis of achievement data, plausible values must be used. Again, the country ID and weighting variables are selected in the main right hand window based on these choices. Find the light learning mass variable in the left hand window. Now I know the variable name, I can type ASD GSLM. Highlight the variable and click on the right arrow in the grouping variables window to select this variable. Then you need to select the achievement variable. Click on name in the plausible values box and all the achievement variables appear in the left hand window. We are interested in the overall math score. So highlight the top variable, first to fifth plausible value mathematics. Click on the right hand, the right arrow in the plausible values window, and that selects that variable. Again, from here, the process is the same. Click on the define button and type in a file name like underscore learning underscore achievement. Again, note spaces are not allowed in the file name. Click on save, then click on start SPSS button to launch SPSS. To run the code, press Ctrl and A to highlight the whole file, then Ctrl and R or the cream play button to run the code. Again, if you scroll up to the table, you will again see for country code 926, which is England, the same percentage of students who very much like learning maths and do not, do not like learning maths as before. But this time, you'll see the average math score for these three different groups of students. So you can see that achievement is higher for those who very much like learning maths and those that do not like learning maths, 576 as opposed to 530. You can also see the standard errors associated with these estimates and therefore you can test to see whether the difference between these numbers is statistically significant.